What's up, YouTube? Big John here. And yeah, we got another update coming on here. I don't even know where to start. It's done. Fitted the cage. BDR crash bar. Had to trim the exhaust brackets a little bit to get the cage to work. Trimmed a little bit of the cage. Not much. Still have full protection. Didn't have to notch anything out. Uh, Fonzie pull start extension, so it brings it up here nice and easy. So you can start it with the cage on. No pulling the cage off except for fuel. I do have my red springs. I'm waiting on a spanner wrench. It should be here Tuesday. I do not want to tear up my shocks. Probably going to compress these springs up and wire tie them. A couple zip ties so I can get on the shaft real good. Because there is not a split on the IRC big bore shocks. But that's as buttery smooth as my trans gets. It's not really butter. Two different sets of black bones inside the RC Max trans, RC Max locker. IRC heavy duty dog bones. I got the FLMs also. And I don't know. I got several sets. I also got a vertigo locker sitting over here. Got a Turtle Max three piece trans. I got a Roven one piece trans. I've tried different combos with both sets of black bone gears. They both are the same way. I see fifth scalar busts. His are like butter, both of his sets. I've talked with everyone, Mike, Taylor, and John over at Detroit Performance. And I'm going to run it. I put the drill on the lay shaft. I ran it. It loosened up a lot. And uh, shout out to Chris at RC Fifth Scale Garage. I'm going to be hooking up next week and do some running. Bring this out there. We're going to shoot some run videos. His uh, his low C 5T 1.0 is ready to rock with his, uh, I think he's, yeah, he's got a GT50 in that. And going to do a little neat tuning on these WJ71 carbs. They're a bit different, but still got the same principle. Run it fat, tune it down. Not a big deal to me. Uh, this one's going to get the OBR 47 from Chris over there at RC Fifth Scale Garage. He's got some turtle racing braces that he wasn't using. I'm going to grab those from him too. Some billet wheels. Get those from him also. I think he's got hostels on him. I'll put those on here. I'll grab all the stuff he's not using for that one. Might as well. I just want to hook up a reliable rig. With a decent freaking big bore. Not a big bore, but still a big engine. A lot of torque. Should be fun with that one. I got this one. I also have, as you can see down there on my bottom shelf. Let me zoom in there. Another billet by... I'm going to finish off the front with the new RC Max stuff for that one. I don't know, I'm thinking about purchasing an ALX engine because I don't have one yet. I got a Trevor Simpson. I got a couple Oddifieds. This one's got an Oddified. This one's got a Trevor Simpson. And this MCD I have over here. Has a four bolt OBR 29. One of the first one when the four bolt 29s came out. That's what that one's got. Uh, that's what I'm working on right now. I have a 30.5 that I'm going to be installing in this one as soon as I get some time. Too busy working on all the other stuff right now. But the winter's long. Also, I have a Bartolone 
long rod piston port. That's going to be for my 5B. That roughly has about three break-in tanks on it, so it's still new. I'm going to get a Barlone pipe for it, big bore pipe for the 5B. I'm going to install that. This engine's probably going to go in my Baja roller sitting there on the floor. Another one for my daughter. Trying to get her started into the hobby. And that on-road car for my daughter, I got that Chrome Cat 5 from Chris over there at RC Fifth Scale Garage. But yeah, everything's coming along. I already got a cage for the, the other billet Baja, Team Chase cage, BDR bash bar. So when I do get the ALX, I'm ready to go. These uh, Amazon keyboard stands, the heavy duty one, it's got the quick lock. That's real nice for the hybrid because you got to do stuff to the chassis that, excuse me, that the axis doesn't quite uh, take care of some of the areas you need to get to with because of the Baja rear and the low C front. So, yeah, that keyboard stand helped me out quite a bit on this build. So did a couple of these. And uh, I got this simple green stuff here from Chris over at RC 5th 